ಇತಿಪಿಸೋ ಬದೇವಾ ಅರೇಹ ಸಂಬುಧೋ ವಿಧ್ಯಾಚರಣ ಸಂಪನ್ನೋ ಸುಗತೋಕವಿದು ಅನುತ್ತರು ಪುರಿಷದಮಸಾರತಿ ಸತ್ತೇವ ಮನೋಸ್ಥಾನ Namaste. So, in the last video, we went through the short introduction <laughs> to the Maha Satipatthana Sutta. And now, the Buddha doesn't waste any time. He gets right down to business. So, let's follow his example and just jump right into the Sutta. Monks, a monk who has gone to the forest, to the base of a tree, or to an empty building, sits down, crosses his legs, sets his body upright, and establishes mindfulness as foremost. One breathes in mindfully. One breathes out mindfully. Breathing in a long breath, one understands, I am breathing in a long breath. Breathing out a long breath, one understands, I am breathing out a long breath. Breathing in a short breath, one understands, I am breathing in a short breath. Breathing out a short breath, one understands, I am breathing out a short breath. One trains this way. I will breathe in experiencing the whole body. One trains in this way. I will breathe out, experiencing the whole body. One trains in this way. I will breathe in, calming the body. One trains in this way. I will breathe out, calming the body. Monks, just as a skilled carpenter or apprentice carpenter who is making a long cut understands, I am making a long cut, or when making a short cut, understands I am making a shortcut. In the same way, when a monk is breathing in a long breath, he understands I am breathing in a long breath. Or when breathing out a long breath, he understands I am breathing out a long breath. When breathing in a short breath, he understands I am breathing in a short breath. Or when breathing out a short breath, he understands I am breathing out a short breath. He trains in this way. I will breathe in, experiencing the whole body. He trains in this way. I will breathe out, experiencing the whole body. He trains in this way. I will breathe in, calming the body. He trains in this way. I will breathe out, calming the body. In this way, one abides, observing the body as the body internally or one abides observing the body as the body externally, or one abides observing the body as the body both internally and externally, or one abides observing the nature of manifestation in relation to the body, or one abides observing the nature of cessation in relation to the body, or one abides observing the nature of both manifestation and cessation in relation to the body, or mindfulness that there is the body is established to the extent necessary for knowledge and awareness. And one abides independent, and one does not cling to anything in the world. Monks, in this way a monk abides, observing the body as the body. So this is practically a short course in meditation all by itself. The fundamental meditation in Raja Yoga is to watch the breath. So how do we do that? First of all, we go into seclusion. This is not a group activity. This is done completely alone because one must be certain that one will not be interrupted. This is very important. So then he goes to a secluded place and sits down crosses the legs, 
uh, in one of the nice sitting postures. Holds the body and head erect. Closes the eyes and just watches the breath. And sometimes he breathes in long and breathes out long. Sometimes he breathes in short and breathes out short. But in any case, he trains himself to watch the breath and calm the body. Now, there are a whole bunch of things that are unsaid in this. He watches the breath, observes it. That's all. He doesn't ascribe any meaning to it. He doesn't try to accomplish anything with it. Huh? In other words, he doesn't think, I am breathing in so that I can get strong. <laughs> I am breathing out so that I can realize some mystic power. I am breathing in so that I can attain enlightenment. <laughs> no. No, no. Like we said last time, don't make up any stories. Just observe the body, breathe in, breathe out, and watch, that's all. No designations, no purposes, no future, no past, no desires, no memories. Just stay in the here and now being aware of the whole body, but not being attached to the body, certainly not thinking that the body is the self. Uh, because now the body has become the object. When the eyes are closed and the sense gates are closed, one is not reaching out into the world. Uh, one is looking inward. One looks within and observes what is going on. So what's gonna happen? I mean, realistically, right? <laughs> you're gonna sit down, start watching the breath, and then you're gonna remember something that happened last week. Somebody insulted you or <laughs> something like that. Or you're gonna get uh, fixated on some desire. I want this, I want that, I wanna do this, I wanna go there, whatever. So. What do you do? Breathe in, <laughs> breathe out, and watch it. Just watch it. Don't try to do anything with it. Don't try to stop it. Don't try to change it. Don't try to explain it away. Don't make up another story about his already existing story. Just calm the body, calm the mind, watch the breath. Thoughts will come and go. Desires will come and go. Sensations will come and go. Feelings will come and go. When I do this, <laughs> every time in the beginning, I get all kinds of creative ideas. Ideas for pieces of music, ideas for artwork, <laughs> ideas for video series, <laughs> seriously. And because I do this every day for hours, I know this is going to come up. So I'm ready for it. And I just try to remain impartial and detached and watch. Watch and observe. And you'll see the thoughts come and go. The desires come and go. The memories come and go. All this inspiration comes and goes. Waves of energy come and go. Different sensations in the body come and go. Even the breath comes and goes. What is the only thing that remains the same? Our watching, our awareness. Even consciousness comes and goes, huh? Did you ever fall asleep <laughs> while we're meditating? I don't resist it. Not anymore. I used to at first try to, you know, keep myself awake. But now I don't resist it. I'll take a little nap. Huh? I don't break my posture or anything. I'll just relax, take a little nap, a few seconds, and then wake up. And 
I find my mind is much quieter. It's like I needed those few seconds of rest. But here's another thing. You'll find if you do this regularly, and particularly if you do it for a significant length of time, like hours, that you need less sleep. And I think an important part of that, why you need less sleep, is that, well, number one, you're going in and out of dream consciousness, svapna, when all these thoughts and memories and stuff are coming up. And another thing is, the cost of maintaining the I, the identity, who I am in the world, and all these relationships and ongoing projects and stuff, the, the cost of that is quite a, a bit. So when we go into meditation, we relax all that, or we should relax all that and let it go. Become, as we discussed in the recent video series, huh? developing emptiness concentration, developing signless concentration. That means no language, no inner conversation, no verbal speech and developing wishless concentration. That means no desires, no regrets. Stay here and now. Be with your body. And don't do anything. Don't even try to do anything. Or don't even imagine doing anything. The result of meditation does not come from your doing. Indeed, the result comes when you stop doing, when you let go of doing, when you relax and simply remain here and now. So about relaxation, you'll find that as you breathe in and out and watch the breaths and so on, that the breaths get lighter and lighter, shorter and shorter. And eventually you reach a point where you could just relax. And the breath remains out. And it can remain out for a longer and longer time. Don't worry about this. <laughs> it's okay. What's happening is you're going into samadhi. The breath is the indication of consciousness. When breathing is short and fast, it means passion. It means desire. It means agitation. It means upset and suffering. But when the breath is long and slow, that's the beginning of relaxation. And then gradually it gets lighter and lighter and lighter until finally you can even let go of the breath. And you notice in that moment, the mind becomes completely still. That's what we're aiming for in breathing meditation. This is called anapanasati. Anapanasati means simply watching the breath. And this is the meditation that the Buddha was undergoing at the time that he attained Nibbana. So he's putting this right up front, number one. This is the first thing we're gonna look at. A, a lot of times the Buddha will give a teaching, do this. If you can't do this, do this. <laughs> if you can't do this, do this. Going down the ladder until he hits where you're at and you can actually do it. And that will bring you into the process and you can gradually go up the ladder until you reach the goal, which is complete enlightenment, the end of suffering, Nibbana. Aung Tatsat, Aung Shakti Aung.